Hi, my friends. Today we discuss about Bill of Materials, BOM. The BOM is an internal database present in every assembly. The BOM is a real-time database, which means that uh, whenever a component is added to an assembly, the BOM is updated to reflect the new state of that assembly. BOM uh, can be found both in parts and in assemblies. What data to come to assembly uh, if they are not somewhere uh, in the uh, part? Let's consider two parts. This one, tube, and another one, shorter, but with the same section. We can access the bill of materials of this part, of every part, by choosing the tools and clicking on document settings and then to the tab bill of materials. As you can see, the default BOM structure is normal. There are also other uh, kind of structures and uh, the uh, unit quantity is each. Each means that when uh, this component is placed in an assembly, uh, it is uh, uh, counted there as another one part. Okay, we know what is the default situation. And uh, if we create now an assembly, let's create one, and we place there uh, a tube grounded at origin and another one, two, three. And then we place the other kind of tube, one, two, we can uh, search this uh, the, the data about this in the bill of materials of the assembly. You can see that this uh, bill of materials is present uh, at the face here. And we see that we have there a quantity of four tubes and two short tubes. Very nice, very interesting. Let's go now to one of that tubes and uh, to change in the bill of materials not to have not uh, each which means pieces but to have a length the length of this part apply close when you go back back to the assembly in the bill of materials we can see that we have uh, 1200 millimeters of uh, tubes tube and two parts short tube since uh, they have uh, the same uh, uh, section we can think to change also the structure not the structure but the uh, units also for the other uh, component in that assembly moment 
when we see that the bill of materials has 1200 millimeters of this part and 500 of this part this is to be reminded don't forget this element now we go to assemblies to see how to uh, manage the bill of materials let's consider this assembly which we have been created in the tutorial uh, 21 we can activate bill of materials and see what components and uh, which are their characteristics you see there is a number of columns here but uh, more important is this line where we see that neither structured or parts only uh, option is enabled yes but let's concentrate on the columns we can add or uh, remove columns by using this uh, tool choose columns these are all possible columns uh, by default but you can add some other uh, anytime and we'll see how to do now I want to uh, uh, remove stock number I drag and drop here that column and also revision for instance instead I want to add say design state a column to be here design state uh, default presentation is uh, work in progress okay we close this done and let's consider this component select i properties of this component crank ipt crank and go to status change work in progress to released okay and now when we open again the bill of material we see that this is released now let's add another column in the uh, table in fact the ma mass this is the mass I double click this and it will appear here at the end double click and I see not applied here at bearing short bearing short look now this is the part which is not uh, does not have uh, calculated the mass done bearing short without opening the component we apply i properties and calculate update for this to be not not applied and to be with a mass close bill of materials and now we see also the bearing short to have a mass here we have to discuss about uh, this table uh, this is the model data the database with all the components and sub assemblies as well we can choose a pair of views structured or parts only which now are disabled 
to see uh, the model data in a, a style of uh, uh, children parents structure or flat all the parts uh, placed one another which one if we don't enable these two views we can start as we did we can start to create a drawing let's do it and place a base view here okay this is the base view and now we want to add a parts list as we uh, know from the previous tutorial parts list and now we have a dialog box to select view and uh, this view okay we receive this message bomb view is disabled do you want to enable the bomb view bom view as structured because we selected here the uh, default view okay when we do this we can uh, place the parts list going back to the to the assembly we see that this structured was enabled yes and we can see it and uh, this is not we can enable either clicking here or clicking here now we don't see a difference between them as you can see but if uh, we have not only a an assembly but assemblies in assemblies in assemblies or sub assemblies in assemblies which uh, are also they can be also sub assemblies and so on in that uh, case and i'll show you uh, one i made it for you this one where we have a sub assembly sub assembly another sub assembly identical with this one this is an instance and this is another instance and separately this and this yes now the bill of materials is this if we go to structured we see another view with the uh, the three elements components here if we want to deploy every node here we have to extend from the unique first level to all levels okay and now we can deploy the first uh, sub assembly the first sub sub assembly and so on to see the uh, parents children relation for everyone if you consider only from here uh, you have this flat table yes this is a flat table and this is a structured table all of them uh, uh, representing this only 
database which also can be deployed in sub components sub components okay let's go back as a conclusion we can uh, say that uh, the bill of material is uh, uh, a database with all we create in inventor uh, concerning uh, one project and you can manage everything there by using the bill of materials editor which is this yes and uh, uh, you can uh, add columns you can create your own column let's create one for you for instance color Uh, the type text text okay and it is added here then we can choose uh, every uh, on every part to add the same uh, column as a property for instance to the cross i properties custom color and the value blue add okay and we go now to the bill of materials and we have blue here yes color blue you can create any uh, column you want different from the uh, columns the default columns which are this all these they are uh, by default contained in i properties of every part and you can uh, combine with your elements if you select one view for instance structure you can export it in excel for instance like structed structed save And then you can open it. You can arrange columns and everything to have your data saved somewhere. If I'll see interest in this uh, aspect of bill of materials we can discuss about and uh, i'll i promise i make another bom tutorial with the subjects choose by you my friends this is all for today bye bye